I believe that life is to be lived. I choose to live life. Live purposefully, love passionately, and thrive unapologetically. That's my mentor. Uh You don't like me, that's your problem. For me, I choose to live life. Uh Uh-huh. I choose to do what? To live life. Will you choose to live life? Yes. All right. Number two. I choose to love passionately. What I do and who I engage with. It's a choice that I have to make every single day. Otherwise, I'll dump them yesterday. Are we good? It is a choice that I make every single day to be who I am. And I choose to love myself every single day. Unapologetically. And then finally, I choose to thrive. Unapologetically. Because I deserve it. I'm a princess of the heavenly kingdom. I am beautiful as they come. Aha. Uh-huh. I have lacked nothing in Jesus' name. Amen. All he says is knock. The door shall be open. Ask and you shall receive. Then he says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans for good, not for evil. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. So I don't care about you who looks at me with green eyes. God has a plan for my life. That's the attitude. You want to be a confident mom? It begins by knowing who you are. So this is just a short message. Then we can dance or we can. The first thing I want to say to you, I I came to let you know that you are a woman of poise. A woman of poise. A woman of poise is a woman that is elegant. A woman of poise is a woman that is compassionate. A woman of poise is a woman that's got it up. Mm -hmm. You will never think that you have it because we have something that we call an imposter syndrome, an inner critic, a a a gangstrom in your mind that tells you little voices that say you're not good enough, you're not intelligent enough, you're not smart enough. You are useless and good for? And then your boss confirms that that to you when he says, you did not do as I said. Then your husband confirms that to you and says, you're a useless woman, useless mother. You don't even know how to do homework. You get it. Everybody confirms to you. And so when you start second-guessing yourself, let me tell you it is normal to have self-doubt, Second guessing yourself, it is normal. But what will not work for you is when you continually do self sabotage. All right? You continually self sabotage yourself because you now believe you're not good enough. Now, if you're a woman of poise, I want to use that as an acronym so that you will not forget. The P stands for power. My God, I'm such a powerful woman. You have no idea. Do you know that? Doors open where I pass. Men move when Jenny Karina is around. I am fire as they come. They say, oh my God, what is she up to today? Uh huh. And so let me tell you, I am fire when it comes to my husband. Uh Not to abuse, not to bring down, not to trample on. I am fire because I light his candle. Oh my God. Uh, if he came here, you would know he's the happiest man in town. Uh-huh. If he came here, he would come and sit. If I say, if you ever want a man to come for super mamas to tell you something, he will be the one to tell you. Uh-huh. That man is agile. That man just is fantastic. Why? Because I tell him, he is the beginning and the end. You are the best thing that ever happened. I love it. Okay. Now, do you know what brings your confidence down? You keep bringing your men down. You got so pa- much power. Power to build, power to kill, power to destroy, power to do the right thing. But when you use your power in a negative manner, it comes back to you. 
pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And then you say, oh, Jenny, I'm in such a toxic relationship. I don't know what to do. I'm out of here. You did it for yourself. It doesn't hurt to flatter. It doesn't hurt to tell somebody you look good. It doesn't hurt to say, my God, you blow my mind. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. What you do is you give them energy, excitement, enthusiasm, and then they can make you come ten times. Am I talking to somebody? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now, I want you never to forget you have so much power. Power at work. I'm not getting a promotion. Uh -huh. Everybody around here, uh, they are sleeping with the boss. That is why nonsense. It's nothing of that sort. You've got the power to have what you want. One day I sat back and I said, mm -mm, I'm not going to be here. Listen, one day I was in school. Our desire then was to work at Central Bank of Kenya. Where? It was the best place to work. Anyone from Central Bank here? <laughs> now, all the girls, when they finish, you know, like the first internship, you go to Central Bank. I never made it for the, the uh, Central Bank. I, I never made the grade to be taken. You had to be top notch. Now, they went to Central Bank. I went to Central Bank as a director. I found them at the reception. I called and there was, this is Central Bank, how may I help you? I was in class with you. I chose that I am not just going to be a mother. I am going to pick up myself and I'm not just going to be nobody. I am going to become somebody. I walked into Central Bank as a director and eventually became the chairman. Let me tell you girls, let me tell you, you look at yourself as Nothing, you will amount to nothing. What confidence do you want? You, you already have it. You got it. You are enough. All you need to do is apply it. Application. Now, how do you apply? The power doesn't just come from within. I mean, within. I found a lot of power by associating with powerful girls. Uh-huh. Who are you hanging around? Who are your five friends? Who are you with today? If you don't tap into the people with the power, where will you find the power? Are we good? I think I'm done with that one, huh? So we go to the O in poise. We are talking about a woman of poise. And the O is opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we are women of poise. We recognize the opportunities around us. Since you came, have you made a new friend? Good. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> now, super mamas provide for you an opportunity to sharpen your mind, to bring you some speakers. But most importantly, it is also intended that you network with one another and that you say, when you meet someone, do you let them know who they are? By the way, my name is Jenny Karina. I support individuals and teams design their lives so that they can live their life of purpose. I do that every day. I partner with insurance companies so that I provide services for talent development and psychosocial support. We are big in that. Uh -huh. You don't interact with us and remain the same. I'm the lead coach at Anchor Relationship Network. Uh -huh. Now, when you come to us, your life will never be the same again. You must have your pitch. When you meet somebody, what will you tell them? What is it that you do? As we transform lives, one person, one couple, one team, one community at a time. I've written five books. Uh huh. My first book that put me on the uh, global platform is Marriage Built to Last. If you haven't read Marriage Built to Last, then you are losing out. Uh -huh. Are we good? Marriage Built to Last. Uh -huh. 
And then I realized, ma- just marriage built with life. Oh my God, marriage is so hard. Me, I thought I was the only one with that. T- I have no problem. Their problems are so big. I wrote another one. Healing beyond betrayal. So I forget about marriage. Inspire her for success. That's my big one. Inspire her for success. We do programs on that and so on and so forth. Let me tell you something. Where you want to go is all up to you. Not your neighbor, not your husband, not your mother. It's up to you. And so, as you sit here, recognize that the person who probably has the key to where you need to, do, to go is the person that you are next to. Are we good? People have w- often wondered how I go high places. For me, I serve even presidents in Africa and their families. I never knocked a door. I got a phone call. We need to see you. Why? I talk to the right people. This is what I want. Hmm? I want a place. I want a position of policy. Huh? I want to work with members of parliament. I don't want to be an MP, but I want to be a decision making. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to be in a decision making organ huh? where policy makes a difference. I tell. One day I got a letter in the mail to appoint me a board member in such a place. Now, that is opportunity. Are we done with opportunity? I want you to know opportunity doesn't come. Me, when I first told my husband that now I think I'm done with church leadership, I began with church. Uh I was the sweeper, I became the usher, I was hospitality, and then I was everything until I became the chairperson of the deacon board. And now they wanted to ordain me as a pastor. No, me, I don't think that is what I really need. In the, eh? So I went for coaching. By the way, we do mentoring, coaching, and psychotherapy. When I went for coaching, my, it came out very clearly. And this is my coach said to me, Jenny, that's a long time ago. I think the pulpit ministry um, is not sufficient for you. I feel you are cut for the world. Let me tell you, when people start telling you you are cut for the world, you see yourself as a grasshopper, and they tell you you are cut for the world. But they mentored me. I walked in those footsteps. Before I knew it, I was on every flight across the world. Business class, high money, dollars, pounds, name it. I just came back the other day. I was in Britain for six weeks. I needed a holiday. Even lovers need Self-care? Oh, 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 oh. I could have killed somebody. So I said, I need time out. I'm getting a burnout. I need time out. So I got myself. And now, because I am usually paid for the ticket, this one I had to pay. My God, it's so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but I said, I'm not dropping standards. Business class here, eh? Yeah. Journey here. Doesn't matter how much it is. I'm going to the UK. I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to be there. I was there six weeks. I was paid pounds to do what? Speak what I love to do. Uh Next, after O is? What do you think I is? Mm -hmm. I is? Yeah, it is that. And yes, you have to be intentional. But for purposes of today, a woman of poise is a woman of influence. Uh huh. Is a woman of influence. I speak, you keep quiet. I say, come, follow me, you will follow. Because I have proved myself. That's what you need. Okay? So you need the right people in your life. If nothing else, you remember, remember that. Then when you have influence, you will have impact and everything else. Okay, what's the next? Mm-hmm. S. What is this? Hmm? Standards, support. Hmm? Sens- sensuality. Uh-huh. Yes. Iyoyote. But for purposes of today, yes, sex is a very big one. Uh-huh. 
And if you are not having it, oh, unto you. Because, oh, unto you. At not tonight, not tonight. Me. I'm not talking. We are faxing. I don't know what. I am not interested. Listen to me. It's not about whether you are interested or not interested. It has some vitamins. Hey! It gives you confidence. It gives you a skin like mine. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let me tell you. You know, when I was a young woman, it's okay. Even you men, you can hear. Huh? When I was a young woman, I was not sleeping. When we go to bed, in the midnight and early morning, that was the level of energy. Me, I see so many, you say, it is three months, it is not happening. What is the problem? Too much serelac, phallex, I don't know. I don't know. Eating the wrong foods. So, what I can tell you, if it's not happening, seek medical attention. Okay? If you are in your 20s and your 30s and your 40s, it's not happening, seek medical attention. But I will tell you this. Many times as women, we want somebody to ask us, to touch us, to kiss us, to say I love you, to start from the morning and climax in the evening. But I'll tell you, the men these days, they are so busy, they don't have time. Nimekununulia nyama na kachumbari. Tena ninini unataka? Four play a kid again. Four play kufanya nini? Let's get into the business. We will huh, and finish. So I'm talking about S. And the S I'm talking about is seasons. In the woman, what did we say we are talking about? Poise. A woman of poise is a woman that recognizes her seasons. Mm -hmm. The three times a night is a history in my life. Okay? The children that cry is a history in my life. My daughter just got a baby. And for me, it was like, is it time for children now again? Or is it time <laughs> for other things? But the truth of the matter is, she chose. So her season now is diapers. It will take another five years to settle down. Now, if you see me with a baby now, I will be in the wrong season. True? Because now I'm supposed to be taking care of grandchildren. What is your season? Are you 20 years here? Are you 20 to 29? Raise your hand. 20 to 29? Uh -huh. Why are you apologetic? You raise like this. Uh -huh. 20 to 29, you are in your season of trying out things. Try everything. It's okay, but please find mentors because you'll burn your fingers by doing the, right th the wrong things. Because sometimes you try things you shouldn't be trying out. Are you 30 to 39? 30 to 39? Uh -huh. Those are many. Oh, wow, look at them. Beautiful women. Oh, my God. Have you found somebody? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> huh? Now, this is it. You are 30 to 39. I'm not finding the love of my life. What am I going to do? You are hanging out with the wrong people. Change your circles. Change your circles. You need to hang out with others. Don't hang out with those ones every day. Uh -huh. Change, Kidogo. Because these people are found. Me, I made a decision. Do you know I met my husband at 17 years? At how old? I was done with my mother. Done. <laughs> I'm like this woman. I kill or I find a home. The only way I could find a home was find a man. I went the streets of Nairobi like this. I'm telling you. Huh? I told my friends, me, I'm looking for a husband. Do you know I found? Hmm? The day I decided I'm done with foolishness, I'm going back to school. People thought I'm crazy, going to school as an adult. I said, I'm going. Found the school, registered, did what? Huh? I'd never even gone for my KCP. K 
case, yes, certificate from my school. I don't know how many years later. I went to the school to go and get my certificate so that I can go to uni. I finished. I have so many honors. I cannot begin to tell you because I made a decision. Hmm? When I decided I will raise my children, I put standards and I did. When I decided I will now go to the board levels, I did. When I said I will sit with the men, they love me, by the way, because I never compete with a man. If you compete with a man, you are finished. Men are very competitive by nature. If you try to compete with this man, you are done. They like complimentary. Eh? Compi? So me, I'm, a, I'm very complimentary. And because I'm complimentary, they like me. I'm not competing. But at the end of the day, I can tell you this. Do you see this head? The man is the head. Do you see the neck? The head turns where the neck? <laughs> You can't do anything without Jenny, but I cannot shout like that. <laughs> Are we good? So, bottom line, I'm telling you, your power is a lot. So, we have come from seasons. I'm in my season of sizzling 60s. Oh, my God. And my heart, or oh what? Talk about the money, I got it. I'm not, I, I, uh -huh. yes. Where do you want? Do you know why I'm not paying school fees? I'm not paying mortgage. I'm not paying higher patches. I have it. You will get there. But you have to pass this difficult. These 30 year olds, you want to be me. You cannot be me. You pay the price of raising your children. You pay the price of saving. You pay the price of being, even when they tell you you're beautiful. Do you know at 30, my God, I look like the sun. My figure. Acha huyu ana dance hapa, unamuangalia. Aha, I used to walk and all the heads turn. Oh my God, I had a figure to kill. I don't wear like this so that you can see my waistline. Huh? <laughs> now, let me tell you. Many dates will come your way at the, in your 30s. But I want to tell you, when you fall for these men who say, it's okay with the ring on your finger. I will blow your mind, baby. I'll buy you a BMW, a home. I've seen it all. But I want you to know the day you fall for that, you're finished. You are finished. I'll not be standing here. But it's not to say I've not met them. I had marriage proposals, even with my three children. What are you saying? <laughs> hey? But there is no marriage proposal. It is a lie. They want to take you to bed huh? and promise you heaven. So do yourself a favor, girl. You want to lose your confidence? Go sleep with those ones that tell you you are beautiful. You will regret. I have seen you. You have children. You have gotten in between the, the, the nini. I interacted with another couple. The girl, after many years, tells the husband, our middle child does not belong to you. She belongs to our best man. Whoa. Jesus, there are things you go to the grave with. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> huh? Hey! How? 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 <laughs> huh? Me, it was disturbing me. I went to see the pastor. He told me I need to confess. Stupid. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> My God. How do you stand in front of a man and tell him his second child belongs to his best man? How? Now, you'll talk about that later. We were talking about what? Seasons. Seasons. Sasa ukiwa, there in those 30s, let me tell you, it is called the turbulent season. It is so turbulent, you need support. My God, you need me like oxygen. You need the older woman who will hold your hand and tell you, baby, I know you're feeling hot. I know that man has another woman. I know he sleeps with somebody else. I know he's not giving you money. You can make it. You can make it. Because at 30, it's when you destroy yourself with a fire. You are 40 to 49, you're here. Yeah. Woo! Hey. So now the E is on excellence. If you want to go anywhere, you've got to do stuff with excellence. 
Excellence is your portion. And now that is food for thought. What do you need to do for excellence? I come to your house, you give me a cup of tea, the children come, they are jumping on the seats, climbing the cupboard, eating the biscuits you've put for me. Once I don't like to have the biscuits, bring washe doma. Now, you, you, the children, they come, they are annoyed, you've given the biscuits. That's not excellence. Do you understand? So from home to the office to how you look, if you want to be a woman of poise who is confident and a woman who is going somewhere, you need to apply a level of excellence. And with that, may God bless you. May he bless the works of your hands. May he cause you to prosper in every way. Be like that person that is talked about in Psalms 1. That blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. He is like a tree that is planted by the stream of water. Amen. I mean, he draws from the, the river, the river. And this woman who draws from this river, the fruit is always in season and the leaf is always green. And at the end there it says, whatever she does shall prosper. May whatever you do prosper in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen.